Um, so I, is that true that many people don't uh, think uh, or, well, or are not bothered by static buildings? I'm not sure about that. Um, but I'll, I'll give you examples. Uh, I think space really influences uh, who we are and uh, our mood and uh, how much we want to be in that uh, location or not. Um, there is quite a bit of research uh, specifically focusing on office buildings and how uh, space design, space organization, privacy, uh, uh, attributes of the space uh, creates, for example, uh, absenteeism because people don't want to be in certain type of buildings. They prefer to be in another type of space or outside or um, or their productivity is affected or, or their feelings of happiness is affected. So you might not maybe as a user consciously think about these things every day or every moment, uh, but uh, you might be experiencing the negative uh, effects of uh, a space that is not meeting your, your needs. I think it's, it's the type of thing that we're not used to having, right? Once you have it, then uh, you just like cannot be without it. I mean, without the smartphones, we didn't feel like there's, there was a lack of a smartphone in our lives or without Alexas or Siri's or similar devices, but now they become part of your life. Uh, so if I lose my smartphone, I wouldn't know where, where my next appointment is, where to go uh, and how to get there. So I think technology becomes our life uh, or, or becomes part of us as we get more acquainted uh, to, to it.